Let's go, let's go. Start a bit earlier today. Welcome all to the Master Leong Show. Oh no. Ah yeah, today market crash again. Oh no. So surprisingly, Alibaba only down 0.15% to 65.45 in the Hong Kong market. Hang Seng Tech was down 3%. Oh, China market very bad. Or oh, down also about uh, 3%. So Tencent down 3%. Or oh, JD down 2%. Ping An down 2%. So I saw some question is that uh, why Alibaba never dropped so much? Or some explanation is that Alibaba right, is not listed in the Shanghai and Shenzhen uh, exchange. Also, that's a good thing because mostly it's the China, the mainland market being sold down. So, for example, like Ping An and Tencent, they are both traded in Hong Kong and the mainland exchange. So, if the mainland side being sold down, then the Hong Kong side will, will also be sold down. Or because they are uh, fungible, they are interchangeable. Or for Alibaba is not listed in the China market. Then, secondly, Alibaba maybe never dropped so much is because maybe they're doing share buybacks. But, but it's not announced, they only announce it quarterly. So I also don't know. Also, so today I'll share with you all what's happening, why today the China market crash again. Also, welcome. Oh, Starlight, ah. Watch it. Daniel Wong, you change name again. Ah. MT Pulse, Ivy Lim. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Ivy Lim, how often in our life we found solid companies that's heavily discounted? Yeah, so some people say that. Alibaba is an opportunity of a lifetime. Or so is this an opportunity or is this a danger? Okay, then even even Japan eventually recover. Yeah, after almost 20, 30 years of, of lost decades. Also, yeah. Honestly, even Baba now at most 10 to 58. Yeah, 58 dollars was the October 2022 lows. So that's a very, very, very strong support. I don't think uh that will be broken. Uh, so, uh, Daniel Ng, uh, Starlight, my thesis on China has always been short-term pain, long-term gain. Yeah, so now China is giving us short-term extreme pain due to the decoupling, the geopolitical tension. Yeah. Okay, so empty piles. Wow, don't get, don't get, don't get empty piles. Huh? Yeah, I see empty piles very, very gloomy already. Everyone is here to support each other. Don't get, don't get. Yeah, Starlight. Oh, if Baba comes to $40, it's PE5, free cash flow, 3. three uh. Yeah, it means that if they do share buybacks, uh, just uh, 2 years, they, they can take it private already. They do share buyback for 2 years, and uh, $40 is a private company already. JLo, welcome, welcome. Huh, nip, nip. US Baba pulled to almost 70 on Friday. Yeah, Friday Baba was very strong. Almost goes at 70, but tonight it's going to come down 3-4%. Uh. To seventy seven or a sixty seven or or what yeah or sixty eight last Friday I also don't know why uh, the the Baba uh, read it maybe last Friday read it because there was expectations that today Ch China would cut rates yeah I go just buy passively yeah don't look all the time yeah just just DCA and and stay calm as long as you're not on margin you're not forced to sell your shares don't be scared. Mr. Tokyo Me, let's go, let's go. And Mr. Andy, Baba Hong Kong IPO price 170. Now it's below 70. Yeah, I about one decade ago, 2014 for IPO price was $68. Now it's below the one decade ago IPO price. That's how ridiculously cheap. But back then, one decade ago, I saw Alibaba, the IPO, I did not play it because it was trading at 50 times earnings, 5 0. Today it's trading at 8, eight times, 7 times uh, forward earnings. Yeah, today Monday blues ah. Monday super bad lah. Harry CJL. Shadow, MT Power shake already ah. MT Power scared already. Ah. Don't paper hand, don't scared, don't scared. Yeah. SC. Hi Master, how's it going? Well, US tech stock. US stock stock still is a bull trend. Ah. Later I'll talk a bit about US market. Towards the end, Lee. Friday so happy. Monday so sad. Yeah. Life of a Baba holder. Roller super roller coaster. Freddy Wong. Uh, fourth week of red. Yeah, very red for China. Sean Ho, welcome, welcome. Uh, Jerome Sim, just use my dividend to purchase more Baba. Wow, that's good, that's good. I use my dividend to pay down my margin. Master now very scared of margin call. Every month, I think I pay down my margin by five hundred or one thousand dollar first. Yeah, I must survive this crisis first. Uh, 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 people are getting margin caught now, so it's very dangerous now. That's why it's so bad. 
or Chu Kiat, uh, Chu Kiat Yong. ML, can you give your thoughts on Hong Kong counters in property development and those in shipping? I'm not very familiar in, in, in this Hong Kong counters. Leh. Now, Hong Kong, because I used to be in the Singapore market, then I know about Hong Kong land. Then, like for REITs, it's like the Ling REITs, all this. But if you talk about like Chong Kong uh, Group uh, for property development, all this, I, I'm not that familiar of the details. Uh. Shipping companies are also not familiar, but shipping I don't like. It's very cyclical in nature. Yeah, uh, and now shipping industry is facing a threat like uh, the Middle East tension, shipping cost increase. But but uh I'm not too worried uh, about the Middle East tension because during the COVID uh lockdown period, right, these shipping companies they made record profits and they reinvest the record profits to have more ships. So now that there's a huge supply of these ships. So even they take two more weeks to travel, it doesn't matter because there's so many ships uh ships uh, so so I, I don't think it will be a problem uh for them. Yeah. Okay. Jerome saying Tiger Broker showed 30% dividend tax but end up only kind of 2% dividend tax. Oh, what, what you are saying is different. 30% dividend tax because it's BABA in the US market. So the system shows you 30% dividend tax. But because it's in the Clayman Island, it's a Clayman Island registered company, so end up we are not taxed. So the dividend tax is zero. But you get 0 0.98, right? It depends on your broker. Example, I use Tiger Broker, they pay me full $1. Oh, but if you use like IBRK, right, they pay you 0 0.98. Some brokers, they take 2 cent commission as the ADR fee, American Depository Receipt Fee. So it depends on your broker. Some they take 2 cent, some they don't take 2 cent, but there's no dividend tax for the Alibaba dividend. So that, that's very good news. JD dividend also no tax because both of them, they are all claimant island. So that's the advantage of being a, a, a so secretive la and the VIE structure, uh, ADR, all this, but the downside is that people say uh, that, that you're holding paper shares. But for me, I mostly hold is the 9988 shares in Hong Kong. So I'm holding the same shares as those by the main lenders and those in uh, living in Hong Kong. So I'm not too worried of being played out. But the Baba shares is fungible. It can be converted to 9988. So so uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, Dominic Teo, welcome, welcome. Yeah, everyone happy, happy. Don't panic, don't panic, yeah. Okay, Ivy Lim isn't Ping An forced to buy bad developers. So Ping An, there was rumors that it was it's gonna be forced to buy Country Garden. I think now they are doing the due, due diligence on Country Garden might take one or two quarters. In the end, whether they buy or not, by the end of first quarter, we will get the confirmation. Oh. So uh, there's the risk uh, that, that Ping An is forced to do national service. So there's the rumors, but it's, it's not confirmed yet. But Ping An, yeah, wow, big below $30 today. Damn cheap, but Ping An there's a ten percent dividend tax. Yeah, so ten percent dividend you now. I bought at thirty five, then now is is thirty. Wow, so super super cheap. Okay, so let me begin my sharing. I think Freddy on welcome. Okay, Fred Maggie, I I don't. Everyone is here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, uh, today the market was disappointed because the Chinese Central Bank, PB, uh, OC Public. Uh, Bank of China decide not to cut rates. Oh no! So the one year loan prime rate is kept at 3.45. So why is loan prime rate? So is this the rate that banks lend to their best customer? Also, uh, then what? Then the other one is the five year uh, rate. So this five year rate is usually for long term lending. Example, car loan, uh, mortgage loan. Uh, so it's priced at this rate. So it's also kept at 4.2%. So there's a disappointment because people thought that. So Friday we saw like Alibaba going up because they thought that Monday or the central bank will cut rates. But they, again, they refused to cut rates. So it's quite a confusing message. So previously, I shared with you all like the short term rates are all the, the, the seven day reverse repo and the one year uh, medium term uh, lending, right? They hold it at the same rate 1.8, 2.5. So the same thing. The medium uh, rates and the long term rates they also hold it there. So uh, analysts they, they are confused uh, because they thought the central bank will be more aggressive to cut rates. But there's a thinking why they cannot cut rates now because US now is at record high interest rate of 5.25 and the US dollar is at its strongest. That also means that Chinese yuan is at its the weakest. So if they cut rates right, funds will flow out because the interest rate is low funds will not stay uh, in the Chinese yuan. They'll convert that Chinese yuan uh, into the US dollar. It means that for offshore yuan, uh, money that is overseas. Because US dollar, you get a much 
higher interest rate. So they so they have to balance between that. So what the Chinese central bank is waiting is that waiting for the Fed to cut rates, hopefully in March, uh, which is 50-50. So for the analysts right, and economists, they see that a re- triple R uh, means the reserve ratio, the amount of money kept by the big six banks, all this, will see a cut happening before the Chinese New Year so that there will be more liquidity in the market. And they also expect the central bank to reduce the rate on one-year policies in April or uh, in, in the earlier. So there is still expectation of, of a rate cut or uh, end of first quarter or early second quarter. So more likely, uh, uh, so this Serena Zhou, uh, well, more likely after Chinese Year hold their annual legislative session in early March. So after Chinese New Year, or they will come back for a uh, annual meeting, and this is very important because this meeting will tell us what is their GDP target for two zero two four. Example: If they gonna push for five percent or four point eight percent, then they must cut rates uh, to stimulate the economy. If let's say their GDP target is four point five percent, so now the analyst estimates the range could be four point five to five percent. So whether they will be conservative or aggressive, we do not know. Yeah, if they're going to be aggressive, then they, they must continue to cut rates. So when China has a more coordinated plan for bolstering the economy, then we will see a clearer uh, path. Lah. So not, like now we need the Feds to show that they are cutting rates. So if, if Feds cut rates, then Chinese central bank have a more comfortable time cutting rates also to, to, to follow suit. If, if they cut now, then uh, the, the Yuan will be pressured. Yeah, so, so the central bank sees a bit resistance in cutting rates so aggressively. So, uh, for the Hong Kong market, uh, this year is very, very bad. Uh, four rate weeks in a row already. So, Hong Kong, uh, Chinese stocks in the Hong Kong market is down 13% in the first month. So, that's a lot. Usually, one year drop 13% is scary. You know, one month drop 13%. So, my feeling is that this could be capitulation. People, a lot of people giving up and losing hope. But technically, right, like I say, a lot of the selling is actually happening in the China market. That's why Alibaba did not get sold down so much. Because Alibaba is not listed in Shanghai and Shenzhen. Whereas names like Tencent, Ping An, they, they are listed both like China Mobile, then the China Big Six Banks, they are listed both in Hong Kong and in the uh, Shanghai Exchange. So those that both side listed, they got sold down very hard. It's mostly because... Uh, of this snowball derivative, which I shared last week. Basically, is that investors, they were selling a put option. They get 10% premium out front, but they have to be locked in for two years. And in within these two years, if the market drops severely, they get wiped out. So uh, in the recent drop, right, I will share with you some people, they put like 2 million Chinese yuan, they are totally wiped out. Their, their, their position is forced to be sold at market, meaning they, they, are fa- they face a margin call. They sold at market price, they sold at rock bottom, they, they lost everything. So the uh, composite Shanghai index, right, small cap 500. So this one, right, is because it's high risk. Ma. So when you are high risk, high volatility, you get high yield. So when you buy a snowball derivative on this, maybe you get a higher yield, like 15%. Uh, they, they give you 15%. Uh, uh, in interest, but now in a downturn, you see it dropped four point seven percent, almost five percent today. So you can see that it's like a margin call, it's a liquidation because all these derivatives they are forced to close their position, and investors are, are wiped out. So like I mentioned, I don't think it is like say it will create a systemic risk because all these snowball derivatives add together is only thirty billion, thirty billion. Whereas the Hong Kong pass, the sensor uh, and sensor, the listed market cap is about now is about 13 trillion, I would, I would say. So it's just a small portion only. Oh, but it's the sentiments and also short term, uh, maybe the selling also because of all this margin call. So Chinese investors, they also like to use uh, leverage. They, they don't use like call option, put option that much, but they use the traditional margin call, margin account, like what Master is using. Yeah, so now we are seeing a wave of, of margin call. That's why the sell down is so intense. So for Hong Kong market, right, it's actually trading at a huge discount to the mainland shares. So Hong Kong is sold down even worse than, than 
uh, China. For example, Ping An. Ping An, I think, trades at a 25% discount to, to the mainland uh, Ping An. So Hong Kong, you buy Ping An, is 10% dividend yield. But you buy the Ping An in the Shanghai, maybe you get uh, 8 or 7% dividend yield only. It's less attractive. Hong Kong one is even more uh, cheaper. Because Hong Kong, right, the movement is actually usually more extreme. Because Hong Kong is like uh, traded in Hong Kong dollar. So there's a lot of foreign investors that they convert their US dollar into Hong Kong dollar and they buy Hong Kong shares to get exposure to the Chinese economy. Whereas Shanghai and, and Shenzhen, even me as a Singaporean, I cannot assess it because I cannot convert my Sing dollar into Chinese yuan. Or that there's a, uh, the, the currency is controlled. Uh, so, it's, it's un so usually the China market, the Chinese yuan is mostly vested by the mainlanders uh, themselves. So Hong Kong, when it comes to a downturn, is more extreme. So this extremity here is similar to what we faced during the global financial crisis in 2009. You see, back to the GFC levels already, this, this discount. So you can see that a large number of hedge share means Hong Kong shares that are representative of the mainland economy are overseas institutions like hedge funds, pension funds. So they sold off their Hong Kong stocks and they relocated into like Japan and Asian markets like India. All these are, are breaking record high. Japan is now super hot. Uh. Even the mainlanders, they are buying the Japan ETF. So the commentary is that there's a lack of catalyst uh, in near term and outflows to more attractive alternatives in the region. So like, like I was saying, uh, people sell their Hong Kong shares like Alibaba, Tencent, they sell it away, they go and buy the, the, the Nikkei, the, the, the Japanese index. And also, uh, one thing is that they are bullish in countries like, example, Japan, uh, Netherlands, or because uh, they have exposure to the chip industry, example, like South Korea stock market. There is Samsung, then, then Japanese market, there, there are also some, some cheap, cheap uh, names, uh, but I don't know, I'm not familiar with the Japanese market. Yeah, so there's a rotation uh, because people are bullish on AI, people are bullish on the semiconductor industry, but people that are still negative on China. That's like USA, you see SMIC is like 9 times earnings, whereas TSMC is trading at over 20 times earnings. Yeah, so the Chinese stocks, they are very unfavorable, so they are running at two different directions. So Chinese stocks in Hong Kong, or like I mentioned, like Ping An, Tencent, or Alibaba, or this. So the Hansen China Enterprise, wow, is now at super super critical support level. I see you already. So this is the same levels we saw during the global financial crisis. Pre global financial, you see rocket, wow, to twenty thousand point, or twenty thousand point, then crash all the way down to five thousand point. So it crashed seventy five percent. Wow, so that's ridiculous. That's the global financial crisis that started from US and it, it uh, affected all the markets across the world. Then uh, even 2015, or we also had a crash. You see here, from the $15,000 level, it crashed by half. $15,000 crashed to $8,000 level. So actually, in, in the recent years, right, or let's say during uh, pre-COVID and post-COVID now, we were actually not in extremely overbought there. We were never overvalued from, from beginning. So people say that, oh, master, this is like the, the Japan, uh, Asia financial crisis, Japan exploded and went into a lost decade. So that one is more similar to like the global financial crisis. Well, Japan, the, the stock market was trading at 200 times earnings. So it's similar like the 20K level, then it crashed on uh, 75%, 80%, that type. So for the Chinese market, right, we did not, uh, went into like like hundred times, two hundred times earnings to begin with that. Like. Alibaba at, at its peak uh, before the N, N Group IPO was cancelled was trading at the most uh, like 25, 30 times earnings that type, you know. So we did not go like 50, 100 times earnings. We, there was no bubble. We were just trading normally. Like Alibaba, Tencent, they were trading like 20 to 30 times earnings. At the most 30 times earnings. Uh. Then you see here, so the level is actually 12,000. Yeah, but then, yeah, we, we exploded. And, and now, from the 12K level peak, we, we are down more by more than 50% already. Break below 6K, now we are at 5K. So we are down actually 55% already. So you can see that previously, this was supported in October 2022, or where uh, SJP was 
elected the third term. Yeah, then, then we rebounded on the hopes of a reopening. But the reopening, all the gains are, are wiped out already. So we are back at the support level. And this 5,000 support level is super important. It's also the same support level that we saw during the global financial crisis. So my belief, lah, oh, based on the chart, lah, I'm not a TA expert, lah, based on common sense, use backside to think. Lah, oh, I ask myself a few questions. Number one, you look at Alibaba in 2024 as compared to Alibaba uh, one decade ago when it IPO in 2014, 10 years ago. The earnings, the revenues, everything has improved. Alibaba, Ping An, Tencent. The earnings, the revenue have all improved, but their stock price ha have gone down. Also, it is not a bubble. So I don't think that we, we, we are, Chi the Chinese market is a bubble and it's crashed and it's going into free fall. Now the valuations is like ridiculously cheap. So the valuations itself should form a bottom. Like you buy Ping An, there's 10% dividend yield. Alibaba, uh, eight times earnings, uh, six times free cash flow. So, and, and it's like, the Alibaba liquidation value is that the Alibaba, their cash and their listed equities, you sell it at open market, is worth $50. So Alibaba goes below 50 is liquidation value. JD already reached liquidation value. JD at $22 is, or $20 is 100% cash already. That means they value their business at zero. <laughs> is that, is, uh, uh, so Chinese businesses, they are already being valued at zero already. Uh. So we are already seeing Chinese tech companies trading at net cash already. Uh. So how low can it go? How I don't know. Eh. Now it's already totally. You don't look at the P E ratio. Is is look at like is that pricing it at bank bankruptcy kind of valuation? So I believe lah. I touch my heart lah. Not that I I'm a, a China bull that I want to bluff you all, cheat you all in lah. We are at the bottom already. I really believe we are at the bottom already. Huh? So many signs already. One is based on the charts. We are at the super 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 key psychological support level. If it breaks right, then we are in no no nowhere zone already. This has never happened before. It has never happened before. Yeah. So if Alibaba goes below fifty eight dollar, lower than the October lows, then that's the no man zone already. We have never seen that before. Then I admit my fate lah. Then I get margin call. I get wiped out lor. So it's like a it's like a black swan event or never never happened before historically. Then I deserve uh to be wiped out. So I I rest my fate. So, secondly, the good piece of news is that China national team uh, went in for the offense last week. Am I right? They went in to buy uh, 15 billion uh, worth of shares. But it seems that they did not attack today. So, we will see if the China national team will come in to rescue the China market again or not. So, we hope for government intervention. Huh? Because usually at this level, it's ICU already. It's like, uh, like I mentioned, because of derivatives and margin, a lot of people are getting liquidated already. So if they don't do anything and let it free fall, right, it might cause systemic risk. Systemic risk is like, or everything start to fall, everything start to collapse. Uh, then it's very hard to reverse it already. So I hope the CCP is wise enough. So usually when it comes to this law, there's usually government interference. Uh, government will stimulate or will deploy the national team. So I'm hopeful of that. So there is rumors that the CCP is going to stimulate. So the rumors is that they are cons considering special bond. So this special bond, they use it a few times. They use it three times before. So one is the Asia financial crisis. So like just now I show you the chart, right? They use the special bond during this global financial crisis and they use it during this uh, COVID crisis also. So whenever they use the special bond, they do the super QE to lift the market up. So there are hopes that they will do the same also. But just now the chart, they don't show the Asia financial crisis because that's so far away. So during the Asia financial crisis, uh, three, four decades ago, they did uh, this special bond. Means the government uh, issued special money. So 207, 270 billion yuan. So they use it right is to support the big banks because during the Asia financial crisis, a lot of SMEs went bankrupt. So a lot of these uh, big banks, right, like China big four banks, right, their non-performing loans skyrocketed. Yeah, so they, they must recapitalize. They, they don't have money. Then there's also a bank run. A lot of people withdraw money. So they recapitalize, they can meet the bank run, they can tank the losses. 
So mostly is to save the banks. Asia financial crisis was, like I mentioned, a financial crisis. So they pump in money to save the banks. So during the 2007 global financial crisis, so this, this one is started from the US, the subprime crisis. Uh, also, they pump in 1.5 trillion, so 100, 1,550 billion. Also, they capitalized the CIC, which is their Soviet wealth fund. Also, this one is uh, they also is to save the financial system uh, to uh, fight their forex, uh, or because I think during that moment everything crashed, so there was a flight to safety. Everybody rushed back to the treasury bills, US dollar, so they defend their currency. So and they they also created uh, four asset managers. One of them is the most famous Hua Rong. And Hua Rong recently got downgraded. So Hua Rong, what they did with the four asset managers is that they went in to save the four big banks by buying away their toxic asset to move their toxic asset out of their balance sheet and into the Hua, Hua Rong, these four asset managers. Yeah, so during the 2020, we had the COVID crisis. So they pumped in one trillion. And this one is more, uh, COVID crisis is more structural in the sense that everybody is trapped then businesses cannot function but people you, you still want people to spend money to order food delivery to order vegetable and rice to to maintain their, their lifestyle so mostly this one is to help for covid control like uh, vaccination ha huh? then uh, how to manage those people during the lockdown and also like uh, inf infrastructure yeah so it's more of a unique situation i would say but whereas the other two is more of a financial system like open market purchase, supporting the banks. So there is a chance that they might do the same thing now. And this special bond, right? If they do it now, how is it going to be like? So most important is to support the economy. So now the property market uh, is weak because the economy, people don't have the sentiments. They feel that, oh, stock market is going down. Property is going down. Nobody want to get married. Nobody want to buy a property. Nobody want to buy stocks. Nobody want to invest in mutual funds. So they must shift the sentiments. And that's why they need to do QE to stimulate. So one way they stimulate is to, one is infrastructure. So when there's infrastructure, there's jobs. There's job people uh, are secure of their job. Unemployment is low. People will spend money. And other important thing is consumption or like giving voucher so that people will go and eat high tilao. People will go to the shopping mall to watch movie to spend. So this is a virtual cycle. Also, when you announce, wow, everybody get $3,000 uh, voucher. So companies will, will manufacture more because they will know that there's more demand, more spending. And then when they manufacture more, they must hire more workers. And then there's a virtuous cycle. Or hire more workers, do more advertising. Then the, the then the then these all big tech companies, they benefit, they also hire more workers. So it will have a virtuous cycle by stimulating. And also private investment, uh, private investment, example, invest in AI, invest in semiconductor, then they will hire more people also. So uh, whether they will stimulate or not, we can only wait for the announcement. I think this announcement might come after Chinese New Year. So you have to endure. Lor. Because now I think they are in planning. Lah. Then very soon already, I think two more weeks we go into Chinese New Year. So I don't expect any big announcement. Usually the announcement is made after Chinese New Year when they come back for the holiday. Yeah, so if they announce before holiday, um, it's also possible, it's like very severe, super crisis already. They must act urgently, then they might announce in advance. But I believe the good news will come after Chinese New Year. So we have to endure. Okay, then some uh, updates uh, on, on company. So Alibaba, uh, their online feed market, Xian Yu, uh, you can see Xian Yu Huan Bao uh, Sang Tian. So Xianyi is basically like our Asia equivalent of carousel, where people uh, buy and sell uh, used item, like, like the pre-owned iPhone, or, or pre-owned shoes, or comic books, or traded, tradable card, cards, all this. Uh. Yeah, so from on, they used to be a pure online, but now they are going offline also. So Xianyi Recycle Shop uh, will launch this coming Sunday in the industrial estate renovated from an abandoned factory in Gongsu district of Hangzhou. Hangzhou is the Alibaba, their, their headquarter. La. So some industrial estates that, you know, like abandoned factory. So maybe the factory used to be manufactured furniture, right? but now property market is no good. So cannot sell the furniture well. Then certain manufacturing industries that segments are affected. So they close down. 
So when the old die, there will be new to take over. So one thing about the China system is that they don't want to save everyone. Like in the US, during the global financial crisis, they save everyone. Good bank, bad bank, lousy auto companies, everyone they also save. They print a lot of money. They go into trillions of debt. They flood the economic cash. Everyone is safe. But China, their philosophy is that if you mismanage your company, you don't do well, you fail, then we let you go bankrupt. They want the strong to survive and get help. They want the weak to be flushed out. So same for the property market. They have the white list of the 50 big developers that get funding from the big banks. The small and medium one that did not manage well, they let them go bankrupt. So there are bankruptcies in China. But I tell you, it's like a K-shaped recovery. Some industries, they are, they are dying. That's why you have the abandoned value. But those that die, you take over. And the new industries will take over. So like now the, the second-hand store is gaining popularity because people are more conscious of their spending. Instead of buying a new iPhone, they don't mind buying a second-hand iPhone at, at a 30% discount. So they are now, the basically, they are online, they are a middleman. But now they bring the middleman model into a physical shop. So it's a consignment model. Basically, example, you want to sell the iPhone, you leave the iPhone uh, in my shop and you put a price. People come and examine the iPhone, they feel that the price is reasonable, they test it, you can work, then they buy on the spot. So it becomes uh, on the spot. So they do like apparel, shoes, accessories, toys, electronics, th things like that. So Xian Yu, right, uh, is experiencing very strong growth. So it's like a smaller unit. Uh, but it has been growing at 20% last year. So that, that's very good growth already. Because Alibaba as a whole is 9% growth. So that's double of their growth. Yeah, and it has more than 500 million users. So hopefully one day it can also go IPO. But I'm still waiting for the China IPO. That might happen after you, Chinese New Year. Then I'll update you all on the details. So Meituan, well recently, Meituan, uh, the, the stock price sold down very sharply. I think Meituan is down more than Alibaba. Alibaba is down 80% from peak. Meituan, I think, is down 90% or 85% from peak. Uh, because Meituan previously, the management did guided that their fourth quarter results will be slow. So Meituan, the result is slow, right? Because, uh, how, how I say, because the, the demand uh, of uh, is, is weak due to the colder uh, season. Uh or because of the, 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 the winter or in China. So certain a areas that there's less demand of the delivery riders. So for Meituan, right, there's this big news uh, or this delivery here is a millionaire, millionaire delivery rider. Wow, that means, wow, can earn so much money, man. So uh, this guy called Chen Si, uh, 26 year old from uh, Jiangxi. So he actually filled his restaurant business and was in 800,000. Yuan debt. That's why he came to Shanghai, the tier one city, to become a DV rider. And he, he claims that he made more than 1 million yuan in three years, working like crazy. Then he showed his the app. Uh, so I saw his video like at BDPD. He showed the app. He made more than 1 million yuan. Wow, so that inspired a lot of people. So, uh, but there are people who are doubtful. Oh, if based on this, right, you will need to earn an average about 28. 1,000 yuan each month. Uh. From what I read, right, the average DV rider in Meituan earns about three to 5,000 only. So his, his earnings is really abnormal. Three to 5,000 is the more normal one. But uh, he delivered an average of 107 orders day, every day. Is that possible? Like uh, other people that you compare, like, say another guy, you see, he do, does about 40 to 50 orders per day, working at least 12 hours per day. So can be 12 hours, can be 16 hours. And he makes about uh, 10,000 yuan. So 28,000 yuan, this one is quite crazy. Yeah. So the, uh, I saw some videos, they expose him. He said that actually his account is multi people using. Like for example, three people using one account. So each person take an eight hour shift. Uh, that's why they, they can become the top scorer. Because if you are ranked number one, you can get an additional incentive. That's why he is the top rank performer in, in Meituan. Then secondly, right, uh, Meituan, I think, Maybe business is no good. They want to hire more DV riders. So they push him and advertise him. Uh, all that to, so that more people will be keen to be a DV rider. Because people think that DV rider can hot big, big, can earn big money. The answer is that it's a very brutal job. Uh, it's basically uh, trade uh, time and your health for, for, for money. Yeah, so 
Meituan, uh, I would say, uh, I think short term it, it could be a bit, the numbers could look bad. Lah. So we just wait for the earnings result. But I think uh, expectation is that the fourth quarter results won't be too good. But longer term, I think they are still all right. Because they still have 70% market share. But I think the potential negative news will be that we see the confirmation of Erleme being sold to ByteDance. Because now the Erleme which is under uh, Alibaba, under the M Financial, is not performing well. No, not, not much synergies. But if they really sell the Erleme to Douyin, ByteDance, right? Wow, that one, they have very strong synergy. Then Erleme will become a strong competitor against Meituan. Then, then Meituan uh, might be impacted. Yeah, so, so that, that's my thinking. So, China right now buys near record 40 billion of chips or to beat the US curves. So China, one reason is that they are very, like say, conservative in firing their firepower into, say, the property market. Because they know property is not the future. The future is semiconductor, which they want to compete against the US. So China uh, buys nearly record 40 billion of, of chips uh, f- from the US, especially those machines uh, to, to make the soil, like those lithography machines. Or, so, uh, as example, SMIC, they bought a lot from the A- ASML, which is the Netherlands uh, company. So you can see Rocket, Rocket, record amount in 2023. But this amount will fall off the cliff this year already because the sanctions will be in place. And the Chinese no longer interested to buy from the West already. They'll try to develop their own. So uh, in December, we saw the amount of lithography equipment from Netherlands jump from jump 1,000%, uh, 10x from a year to 1.1 billion. So this is the last window of opportunity. So the like SMIC, you see, they rush in to secure orders from the ASML to buy all these uh, lithography machines. Yeah, so you can see like pink color here is Netherlands. Then uh, orange color here is Japan. So you saw record amount towards the, the year end of all these uh, lithography machines. And that's why investors, they're also bullish on Japan and Netherlands. So all these uh, chips related company, they keep getting bought up and getting pushed up. So uh, China, the chip industry is still very important. Because China is is the manufacturing hub of the world. They, they use the most chips. Uh. So the chips are everywhere. In your EV car, in your Xbox, uh, PlayStation, uh, in your mobile phone, uh, all your electronics device, even your refrigerator and TV. So they are the biggest uh, consumer of, of, of chips. And US companies like Nvidia, they still want to sell to China despite the sanction. Because China is one quarter of their revenues. So. F- in the first time in four years, Jensen Huan uh, makes a visit to China. But he, he feels that he still wants to do business with China and it's not wise to cut China off. Yeah, so we saw, I saw this on uh, Ch- Chinese media. Lah. So he actually dancing. So it's more like an AGM, an annual general meeting or annual celebration lah, with their staff. So this is a pre-celebration that you celebrate together then uh for chinese new year after that the all the staff will go for a two or three weeks break uh. everybody will clear their annual leave to go for it. so jensen Huang also wear the traditional clothes go up to stage sing and dance yeah so he went to visit all the important cities like beijing shanghai shenzhen the the, the tier one cities visit all the office uh, push the morale and celebrate with uh, employees so he uh, understands that china is still very important China is not uninvestable. We saw last year, even Elon Musk, Tim Cook also went to China. So stock market wise, everyone tell you China is uninvestable, but all the top CEOs, they are very concerned with China and they keep visiting China. So uh, AI is still the main focus of 2024. The hype is still on AI. Because that's where everybody finds that there's growth potential. But AI is also a bubble. It's very competitive. Not everyone will succeed. So the chat GPT CEO Sam uh, Altman, uh, last year we, we had a saga and now I think he's trying to be smart. Uh. He want to raise 8 to 10 billion from the Middle East folks uh, to do the AI chip factory. Yeah, so he so this is out of US already. So basically he's taking the Middle East money. Middle East, they want to diversify out of oil. They also want to gain technology expertise, gain AI uh, expertise. Uh. So everyone is into uh, AI. So 
lastly talk about the US market. So US market, right? What about this year, 2024? My belief is still a bull trend uh, until otherwise. Uh, like earlier, the first one week we saw the sell down. I told you that maybe just people taking profit. The trend is still up uh, because the hype is still on AI, Bitcoin, all this. People are still uh, risk taking. But I, Wall Street is feeling that the foolish 2024 trade is betting on early rate cuts. So they believe that uh, expectation of rate cut is too optimistic. So 66.4% say that betting on early central central bank rate cut is the most foolish and most risky kind of trade la, out of the 440 respondents. So all these they are professionals, la, like economists, analysts, and uh, fund managers. Also, smart money think, thinks that uh, the market is too optimistic. So traders, right? At the end of last year, they were very bullish. They expect six cut for this year and happening as soon as March. But now they are less optimistic. They, they only think that there will be five cuts. I think that is too optimistic also. I tell you all, my expectation is four to five cut. So I think it is 50-50. It could be four, it could be five. And market is now pricing in a 50% chance of a March uh, rate cut. Uh, I believe March won't cut, but I hope that March they cut. Because U.S. cutting rates is, is good for the China market so that uh, it will free funds to leave the U.S. market. So now the U.S. risk free rate is so high, so attractive. So when they start cutting rates, the, the, the U.S. dollar will be less attractive. Then the U.S. dollar will weaken a bit. Funds could, could flow back to Asia and flow back to China. So I'm hopeful that the Fed will cut rates. I need the Fed to cut rates uh, in the March meeting. In the month end, this January meeting, unlikely they will do anything. La. Most likely, it's a nothing burger. They will not do anything. So the stock market now is actually risky because it's going to have a much tougher time maintaining today's high valuations. The expectations is too high. Too many investors are equating the end of rate hikes and beginning of rate cuts with a return to the era of free money. People think that we will be going back to the zero interest rate environment. Or the zip era. So I don't think so. La. Even if they cut rates, it will be gradual. La. Like maybe from 5.25, but by year end, we are at like 4%. So 5, five cut, there will be at end of year, we are at 4%. Then next year, another 4 cut. End of next year, 3%. Then uh, the year after, 2.5%. And long term, uh, the risk free rate will be 2.5 or 3%. That, that's, that's my thinking. We are, we are never going back to zero uh, percent interest rate. Because central banks have pumped too much money, there's too much cash, inflation will persist. Inflation will persist, but we will never see 0% uh, inflation. But inflation, for now, it seems sticky at 3 to 4%. 3 to 4% inflation, you reduce rates to 3 to 4%, still okay. But I don't think we are cu coming back to zero interest rate environment. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for tonight. La. So I think the most fear is still on the Hong Kong market. La. I think. Most of you all, maybe you all have both US and China exposure. But I think US, you all don't care much. Uh, go up, then maybe you take profits. Your decision is easy. If your US exposure is continue riding or take profit. I don't think you are buying into the US market. Uh. Now it's all time high, you go and buy. Then I wish you good luck. Uh. So I don't think you are buying into the US market. Uh. So US market, buy, sell and hold three button. I think you are basically hold or sell. So the US market is quite easy. Uh, it's like, when you want to take profit, I don't know. But you, you, it's wise to start taking some profit. Uh. Example, uh, you, you put in 200,000. Now it's up to, went up 100,000. Now it's 300,000. So it's wise to trim your position. Maybe sell one third. Go back to your original. Then your, 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 your capital gains, you take, put in your pocket first. Then you see what you want to do. You want to put, uh, get 5% risk free, also can. You want to buy weeds, also can. You want to, the adventurers buy the Chinese market, buy into Alibaba also can. So you have a lot of options after you start to take some profits in the US market. But I think most people is the other side. Those that have exposure in the Hong Kong China market like me or Xibei Shares. Uh. So I, 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 although I'm the captain of the Baba boat, but the captain is also dying already. The, the captain, uh, 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 the, the heart uh, left a few heartbeat already. Uh. Or it, it breaks support and die, I die with you all. <laughs> but Captain is the one that is the most vested. Uh. I, I'm vested and I'm on leverage also. I'm the most aggressive. Uh. My portfolio is 100% exposure to China. Alibaba, SEJD, Ping An. I only hold four stocks. Uh. 
Oh, so six six figure portfolio la. Oh, so I die, I, I die with you all. Don't scared. Oh, master first to die. That's I tell you all. If the China market crash, master is the first. But I, I'm leveraged. Ah. Baba goes below sixty dollar, means the, this this support is, is broken right. So I I die first. But now we are at the support already. So we just pray hard. Alibaba holds above sixty dollar. Oh, we just now we we can only do one thing already. Nothing we can do. We can only add that only. Every day, please, 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 don't break below sixty. Don't break below sixty. Uh, then then every month I I, I top up lah, my, my margin lah, so that I have a bit more buffer. Yeah. So JD I only have a bit of shares ah. So so I hope JD continue to crash so that a uh, second half or or second to fourth quarter I can DCA more into JD. But JD is the one I want to buy more shares. But JD I only have a bit lah. So but JD wow very bad ah. Is it trading at you see? The market cap is thirty five billion now. They they already have thirty two billion in cash. If you add their earnings this year, it's thirty five billion. So they are trading at net cash position already. At twenty two dollar, they are trading at hundred percent cash. Their cash per share is twenty to twenty two dollar per share. So they are trading. Their business is being priced like worthless. That this is a scam, and it's down sixty two percent. Also, JD, I will DCA lah. But but first, I top up my margin. I survive this this crisis first. Then I'll, I'll come back. DCA the JD, Alibaba okay down three percent pre market still okay I would say, last Friday is sixty nine so now sixty seven because they have a lot of cash I think they are doing a lot of share buybacks and maybe the the big big fish is doing the DCA lah so if really Baba ha huh, crash below sixty ah uh, I die ha uh, then I die lah uh, I I I meet my fate lor I get margin call I get wipe out lor so high si yi piao hao han. Even if I lose everything, then I'm forty years old. I start all over again. Then you see me be very serious on my YouTube already. You see me stream every day, ah. Uh. On top of streaming, ah, uh, I will still make special video, ah. Uh. I'll be super hardworking, ah, uh, to grow my YouTube, ah, uh, because I really start. Uh, then YouTube will become my full time job. But now I still relax, ah. Uh. YouTube part time job. Uh. But if I really get wiped out, ah, uh, then I'm a strong toe that lie, ah. Then YouTube will be my full time job. Uh. Yeah, so YouTube is my backup plan, ah. Uh. Uh, if, if I then I will share my success story. Then you see me say, how to lose all your money in the stock market? Uh, how to lose all your money doing business? How to lose all your money investing in property? Oh yeah, so I become, then I will start to sell course already. Master long master class, or property course, uh, entrepreneurship course, uh, or stock market course. Uh, oh, then I become the fake guru. Sell course to earn back the money. But I don't want to become like that. <laughs> if I lose everything on Alibaba, then I might go into a dark side. Uh, become fake guru, sell course. Uh. So when you see master start selling the $888 of uh, investing course, uh, you know uh, I lose everything in stock market already. You can or you cannot make money in the stock market, then you sell course to make money. You know? If you can what big big in the stock market, then you know you need to sell course. As simple as that. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully. Uh, I don't think, so I think there's some buffer. Uh, so... Now it's like okay, sixty-seven point five zero lah. Uh. So sixty dollar I, I get margin call. So there's seven fifty of of uh buffer. So I so that's a twelve point five percent drop. So I think that's a lot. That that's that's a very strong buffer, right? Oh, it's like you it, it really this support uh, this support then you drop another ten percent. Now it's five thousand point, then you go down to four thousand, then I resign my fate lor. Uh. This is unknown territory lor. So I die, I die lor. So you, those who want to see master die, uh, yes, yes, follow my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, what? Uh, buy popcorn, watch the show. See whether master will survive this storm or not. Yeah, Alpha Wong. Oh yeah, uh, the ma message jump very fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So e e Eddie, master, ah, uh, help uh, everyone in ICU. Rough. Yeah. First aid uh, Everyone on Hong Kong market jala eh. Based on what happened today, I think likely to hit fourteen thousand. Uh. The the Hong Kong market break below fifteen thousand already. So the previous low was fourteen thousand seven hundred. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, uh, if I never re remember wrongly, the Hansen index. So fourteen thousand seven hundred is super 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 key support. Uh. If break we die already. Oh yeah. Oh fourteen thousand seven hundred. So this must hold. Uh. Oh you just so every day we, we just together. Oh we just Oh, please, 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 don't, don't break this support level. Yeah, so this is a very key support level. We hope it holds. That's the October 1st support level. 14,000. I think it should hold unless really got bad news. 
if no major news everything is constant then i think uh, unless they go crazy they go and crack down on tencent alibaba or again uh, or another wave of crackdown or then break uh, then we all die uh. i don't think they want to crack down already uh. i think they wake up their idea already uh. don't break uh, don't break uh. Chow thousand, uh, chow thousand level we all, 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 all can go swimming already yura hara kisuki welcome welcome oh yeah Okay, uh, Stephen Taboom, we will hit 5,000 soon. More room to go down. Ah. Wow, all, all so pessimistic. Ah. All give up already. Ah. Wow, antivirus come out. Okay, Niva, welcome, welcome. S uh, Tang from TH, ah, Thailand. Ah. Wow, somebody come. Oh, so uh, Thailand also you all invest in the chi China market. Ah. Yeah, because my, my viewers are all international. All the English speaking viewers that want to know about China market come and watch the Master Long show. Yeah, but I thought I can give you all hope, but every day is like horror show like that. It's all gloom and doom. Alright, okay. Banke, Chicken Genius also at Baba. Yeah. Uh, caught we on sell put at sixty and sixty five. Yeah, I think it's good. If you play options, uh, I mean, if you trade options, invest in options, uh, you can sell put options for Baba at sixty five and sixty. Then you collect the premium upfront. Let's say you sell the put options. Let's say three months or six months, you get a five dollar premium upfront. If it comes to sixty five, you have to pick up the shares. No, then you buy more shares at sixty five. You don't mind. That's okay. Or you don't mind buying more shares at sixty. So I think selling put options uh, at sixty five and sixty is a good deal. Uh, but I'm not into options. Uh, but that would be a a, a a very good risk to reward trade. Well, Steve Lim, welcome, welcome. Excel saw waiting for a sideways movement. Ah. Hope hope can 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 consolidate. Ben K A K say he sell Baba at three hundred. Ah. I hope Baba can come to three hundred. Ah. Maybe next year or the year after. Ah. But definitely not not this year. Ah. This year Baba can go uh can double I happy already. Like go from seventy to hundred forty I happy already. Ah. Oh yeah, I believe yeah, Baba can go hundred fifty good already. Ah. Mr. Tokoyomi, yeah. Hold some sort uh, SG uh, dinosaur stock uh, to get dividend. Uh. Uh, when bear market collect dividend, uh, help heal the pain. Also good. Uh. Yeah, David Wong, oh, Microsoft hit 400 pre market. Uh. Yeah, well, I think you should reduce some. Uh. Very high already. Uh. It's very crazy. The, the, the SP already break uh, all time high already, in case you all don't know. But I, I, yeah, I never cover so much the US news. Uh. But in case you all don't know, uh, the SP 500. Uh, break new high already. Yeah, so we are at the all time high already. So some like people that are saying year end five thousand or five thousand two hundred, like the Tom Lee fund shred, they are still very bullish. Uh. So I, I I would say this is the election year. So usually it's bullish. Uh. but but the bubble might 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 pop in the second half. First half uh, I'm still bullish on the U S market. Then uh Nasdaq Nasdaq uh we haven't break the the new all time high uh. All time high was I think sixteen thousand. Yeah, it's like sixteen thousand like that, near sixteen thousand. Ah. so Nasdaq haven't yet. So S and P already break all time high. So Nasdaq is the next to break ah. No problem ah, Given the momentum, you see, la last Friday up one point seven percent. Pre market, Nasdaq up one percent. Very strong. Mostly is that like Nvidia, Microsoft, uh, all pushing. And I see that they they also covered the news, like China purchased a lot of equipment. So. Uh, companies like ASML, they they will report record, uh, strong earnings. So like like ASML, the earnings will will, will be very strong. Yeah. So it's, it's traded in Netherlands, uh, the Europe exchange, but they also trade, uh, in in the US exchange. So seven also very strong. You see the stock price, wow, dragon go up already. The dragon go up already. Yeah. I see. Wow, dragon go up, but but not not still below the their all time high. So Nasdaq likely to, uh. I would say the US market, Nasdaq should test their all time high and break the all time high. Usually, what happens in the bull market is that they break new high. Then people say the market break new high, all for more rush in to buy. Then the bubble become bigger, then the bubble pops. Then retail investors get burned. So I think now we are still in the phrase that retail investors, they are rotating. They give up on China, they rotate into US to chase the uptrend. Then when the US bubble pop, then they cannot burn. Then they come back. To buy the Chinese stocks, something like that uh. It's always a swing between, uh, fear and greed. Colin Chin, Leon, welcome, welcome. Oleg, 
Okay, Baba only reversed its big earnings and announced monster buyback and special dividends. Yeah, I hope so. So just wait for the Baba announcement. Uh. Just one more month to go. Or uh, third week of uh, February, we will get the Baba results. I think Baba results will be good. Uh. I see the retail numbers for October, November, December all quite good. Uh, I hope Baba results don't disappoint. Uh. Easily 8 to 10% revenue growth. Yeah. Must be like Facebook like that. Facebook, the V-shaped recovery, very strong. Eh? Don't know you all got see the meta, the, 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 the rebound. It's like a super V. La. I hope Alibaba can be like meta. I really hope so. So if you look at the meta, right, you see, it's like a V from here. 377, crash all the way to $100. Then from $100, now it bounced back up. Almost going to 400 already. So that's a four bagger. 100 to 400, that's a 4 bagger. I think Baba can also be a 4 bagger. Going from 60 to, to 240, no problem. So Meta 100 to 400, Baba 60 to 240, no problem. Just that, can you endure or not? So it's the same thing, like Meta, everybody say, when it was crashing to, I, I think I started to cover Baba when it was 150, or I did a deep dive on the Meta. I say that you buy Meta at 150 is that, you get the metaverse for free and you're paying uh 12 times earnings 10 times cash flow free cash flow la, for the family uh, of apps uh business so 10 times cash flow plus meta free is a good deal so i i, I myself i bought into it then it crashed and it rebound to 220 240 i sold off my meta shares then now it went even higher yeah so i i uh, people they were very pessimistic on Meta because they think that Metaverse is 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 gone case. So now the same thing they think that Baba is uninvestable, because Baba is gone case. So you look at this chart, right? You see, remember this chart is a is a big V hack. So I I I'm hopeful that Baba can can also be uh be the same. So hopefully the next five years ah, uh, or Baba now all the way down, then you will V up uh, V up. Yeah, long long way to go uh, long way to go. Yeah, so really crash valley. So can we form the other side? But you look at the charts here, we are really at the lows already. It's really consolidation. Eh? Crash and you cannot crash already. If go below sixty dollar, I, I resign my fate. La. I, I deserve to be wiped out la, if Alibaba goes below sixty. La. Uh that means I really cannot play the stock market. La. That means my, my life, la, my destiny is not the stock market. I, I have no fate with the stock market. La. Yeah. Mil Yuan Fen ah, oh then Go Kim, oh thanks for your Milo Ping. Alternate coins continue to dip ah. So crypto I think is consolidating at the 40k level for the uh, Bitcoin, yeah lor. So Bitcoin is consolidating 40k. Although the, the Bitcoin ETF the popularity keep increasing, but then uh -huh, the price no strength. People all go and buy Nvidia and Microsoft already. People don't want to buy the, the, the Bitcoin. So I beat this one I mentioned the AUM uh, surpassed 1 billion, 1.2 billion already. So by year end easily la, it can be 10 billion uh, AUM. But it's more like a rotation. La. People sell out of other like Grayscale ETF, they sell out of micro strategy, then they rotate into the uh, Bitcoin ETF. That's why there, there isn't a, a rally in the Bitcoin price because it's still more of a rotation. Uh, Mr. Token, Ping An got increased dividend, no eh? They haven't report their full year results, ma. So we just wait for their full year results. But I think full year revenues can be up ten percent, earnings can be down ten percent for Ping An. But their payout ratio is only like 50-60 percent of their earnings. So I think they will maintain their earnings. Uh. So the dividend yield should be the same. Okay. China should save Baba and JD, not only Bank, they should save the, the big banks, the big big tech also. Yeah. S10, I saw from news, 4-5 years, it's time for China economic recovery and clear housing. But right now it's good valuations. Yeah, already 4-5 years or bad already. This bear is, you see the peak is, you look at this chart right, uh, the Hansen China, and the, the peak was actually 2018. Eh. 18. So 5-6 years or bad already. Eh. Now it's 2014, eh. we are going to the 6th year of bear. Uh, but if you look at the peak, you see the last time peak, so so many years ago so people say that china will enter a lost decade we are already in a lost decade la. we need to get out of this lost decade from, from 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 the chart yeah. 
But now I think ten percent dividend you bargain hunters will, will come in. Uh. Boss is too juicy already. Too juicy. Yeah. Ping An they reduce dividend because of national service. Never service is the speculation. I uh. don't know true or not. Uh. But I think market already price in that they, they sure must do the national service already. Uh, so uh, Edward Chan, serious question to all, what stimulus action will CCP announce if they just cancelled a local infrastructure project? The local infrastructure project is a few of them only. It's those provinces that have very high debt level. They don't want them to uh, over uh, exert on, on their debt level. But those infrastructure that are important, example like schools, la, expressway, la, airport, la, ports, la, those will still be will, will still be built up. They, they they trim la. They never can. The new set they say that they cancel all the projects. No la. They just trim some of the project. I think they trim like maybe five or ten percent of the projects. They trim because they don't want the go local government to be overburdened with debt. So now the stimulus that they do right, the debt won't be on their on the on the government. It is on the central bank itself. Now is the central bank uh do 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 the bazooka. The local government no firepower already. Now they need the central bank to 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 fire. So China right, there's a lot of debt, but the debt is in like the companies and the local governments. Whereas the common folks, they are very cash rich. The central bank is very cash rich. So uh, I'm not too worried lah. If you see the big big picture, yeah, Ping An dividend payout is fifty to sixty percent. So they have buffer. Even their earnings drop ten percent, they can still maintain uh dividends. Uh, rules, I put as much as I could of my CPF money into S and P five hundred and global index last year. One of the best decision. Yeah, now ah, uh, now you think whether to take pro trim ah, uh, trim or uh, your your S and P five hundred uh, You thinking how much you want to trim uh? Trim ten twenty percent, take some profits uh, to be safe uh. What's US feels like a bit bubbleish already, uh. but usually the the bubble continues to become bigger a bit. Eddie, my margin call if Baba goes to thirty dollar, very safe lah. Cannot go thirty one ah. Go to go thirty is World War Three already. Yeah, fifty is impossible lah. I think the lowest you can go is fifty. Fifty is liquidation value already. It might come to sixty. It might come to fifty eight. But I don't think it will go below fifty. Yeah, even fifty eight is super support already. Okay, Alvin C. Xian Yu is our Gang Guni. Yes, yes, yes. It's the Gang Guni. Buy and resell, like carousel like that. Yeah. Okay. So I just answer some questions. I really want pledge kidney to buy ah, all in already lah. Yeah. Yeah. Cash eleven. Why all so dramatic? Yeah. Baba ten cent. They won't go bankrupt. They will still be around for ten twenty years. Yeah. All want to sell kidney and buy already. Yeah. Okay. Foot Maggie's invest in Tama Golf. Ah. Wow, you're also a magic player. Ah. Foot Maggie, wow, magic the gathering. Now the, the magic card, ah, all the old cards are ah, worth a lot. Ah. Yeah. Oh, BKA PAB, how much they charge for a kidney? Master want to sell one kidney. Ah. Now I, I pay down my margin. Ah. Sell one kidney to pay down my margin. Where, where, where to sell? Tell me where I can go sell. Master really will go sell. If now I can sell my kidney, ah, if the price is good, ah, 100,000, ah, I, I might consider. <laughs> Just kidding, I ah, won't sell. Ah. Even one million, I also won't sell that. I will not sell. I'm just kidding. Don't sell kidney, lah. Yeah. Oh, starlight. Yeah. May twenty slow growth fifteen percent. Ah, the previous quarter they report, uh, twenty two percent revenue growth. So last quarter maybe towards fourteen percent. Yeah. Oh, and they started to do share buybacks. A lot of these, uh, Chinese tech companies, they are having a lot of cash flow. So they are doing a lot of share buybacks. So the upside is that they can, pay dividend, increase dividend, or increase share buybacks. So that will be positive to uh, shareholders. LVNC, I bought more BSL. What is BSL? COVID case. Uh, bring, I don't know what is BSL. Eh. It's what? Sell girth, mask, all this one. Uh. British. I don't know what is BSL. Eh. Yeah. Cannot find. Never mind. Girth company. Uh, all this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but sounds cyclical. The, the girth and mask industry. All this is. Uh, how I say. Uh, it's like a commodity like that. I, I don't quite like. Meme news, days like this are like wishing you never buy it. Uh, 1997, uh, Asia Financial Bank. Yeah, I think five years later, right, or, or two to three years later, people will wish that they were more courageous during this current dark days. This is the fire sale. Uh. People will regret never buying more uh, when Alibaba is selling below $70. Okay. 
B K L tonight Baba three hundred lah. I wish I wish I wish. Yeah, in my dream now I will dream of Baba uh three hundred. Or Ben K, you still got U S A to cover China. I left with S E to cover my S my S G, and China my my S E is insured. S E stabilized already lah. S E doesn't seem like falling below thirty five. S E also not China related ma. It's Asia related, but the the price is weak lah. Uh, it's mostly you see never drop ma. Today Ch China market crash. S E never. China the uh S E the price is weak because they are facing competition from TikTok, in the Indonesia market, but I think, all eyes is on their earnings result ah. So just wait for their uh, earnings result, yeah. Yeah, wow! You watch the Ani Go video on treadmill ah. So you run 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 and watch ah. Wow! Support support ah. BK eight PA eating lace while watching ML ah. No eat proper dinner ah. Eat eat tidbit ah. Yeah. Rules ah is like. Peter Lin selling your winners, holding your losers is like cutting the flower, watering your wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so depends ah. Winner or loser depends ah. And then you must look at the fundamentals. Hold strong fundamentals. Cut a weak fundamentals. Nvidia six hundred already ah. Wow, so strong ah. I never see that. Why Nvidia so strong ah? Ah, Nvidia wow, wow six hundred already pre market so strong. Oh my god, really is a uh, US super bull. Oh, oh, uh, Eric, uh, Eric, Eric Lewis, uh, Ackerman, don't die, Captain. Yeah, Master, Captain still on board. Yeah, yeah, Master still alive. Ma Master going to become undead. Uh. I'll be the undead parachute para para Captain. Uh, Max Gami, Hong Kong is a very sad state. It may never recover to where it was. Case of one man ambition become a death one. <laughs> Hong Kong okay lah. Economic wise, I think it's rebounding already. During the the, the very strict uh, COVID period, the economy was very bad. I watch videos of people going Hong Kong for holiday. Seems like everything back to normal. But the demographics change already lah. Some of the Hong Kongers they they left the country. They go to, uh, Britain. They go go back to UK. All this already. Some they 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 relocate uh, to to other country. So now Hong Kong the demographics. Uh, more and more, they have an influx ah of the mainlanders law going to become a Hong Kongers. So a shift of demographics ah, but economic wise, I think they they are, they are recovering ah the Hong Kong yeah, but education wise, they are they getting brainwashed lah like the the uh their textbook all this all you you must uh, all is a pro CCP one yeah. Okay, Martin the Chobit, I will buy JD at twenty dollar. Oh, twenty dollar easy buy lah. Hundred percent liquidation value. Meme news, master. What is your zodiac ah? My uncle is Feng Shui master. My zodiac is what Libra. I'm a Chinese. I'm pick. Yeah. Oh, Chinese zodiac. I'm pick. Yeah. Western zodiac. I'm Libra. I I I'm Libra pick. Yeah, Libra pick. Yeah. 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 So 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 yeah. Feel free to to support. Yeah. I I'm one nine eight three. One nine eight three. Yeah. Ah, I'm one nine eight three. Ah, one nine eight three pick. Yeah, Elena, welcome, welcome. Oh, our goddess of uh S G X. Hope you are doing well. Yeah. Oh, zodiac. Ah, Chinese zodiac. Ah, rooster. Ah, rooster is chicken. Chicken is forty two this year. My elder brother is chicken. Master is pig. Ah, master is lazy pig. Ah, eat and sleep only. Yeah. Wow, you are rooster. Ah, wow, rooster. Ah, that means you are younger than me. Ah. Rooster, you minus ten lah. You're thirty years old lah. You're a young man lah. Young man, young man. Ah, mean news. Yeah, young man, young and healthy. Yeah, cash eleven. You can try convert your debt instead of paying it back. I never convert lah. I use discount broker leh. Cannot convert leh. Yeah, I borrow in Hong Kong dollar. It's expensive lah. My interest cost five five percent, six point eight percent. But so be it lah. Not also not say very expensive. I think it's I think it's still reasonable. Yeah, just. Pay down a bit lah. I I really scared margin call. Ah. What lao eh? I thought the worst was last uh two zero two two, the October the Baba fifty eight dollar. I didn't expect ah uh, this year to be so bad. That's why last year and I confidently whack Ping An buy big into Ping An thirty five dollar. Then now Ping An thirty dollar. Oh my god! Aye, I thought the worst is over. Then push for Dragon Ready. Now now I scared ready. Master scared ready. Now my priority is pay pay down my margin a bit first. Yeah. Ah, uh, ML, you look 
current low is two year low. If you see longer term, actually another four is it? I don't know. Ah, don't dare to see already. I don't know how to see already. Ah, yeah. Jeff S W Tan, you make Baba stock like the uh, adventure show. Ah, yeah. Is it people? A, a lot of people on the hardware zone forum, they bully master. Ah, they they say they buy popcorn. Watch show there. They see see the master the boat sink sink or which treasure island. So people will watch the master down adventure. So people will see whether la, we, are, we are like the Baba bird ma, all on board the same ship. So people that are not vested on Alibaba, right, they are concerned. Or they watch popcorn, la, see whether our Baba boat will sink or our Baba boat will go treasure island. I hope our Baba boat will reach treasure island. La. Yeah, la. I hope, la, I hope. La. I, I really hope we can reach treasure island. La. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Toh me, wow, all oh, that time you got listen to me, ah, you buy the Alphabet, ah. wow, Alphabet, we also hot, hot, ah. that time Alphabet very cheap, but Alphabet this year never go much, eh. Alphabet, like, I tell you, ah, below 100 was an easy buy, ah. sure buy, sure hot, ah. now Alphabet is what, 150 already, ah. so high already, ah. that time ah, I sold was like 120, 130, now what, now so high already, ah. Ah, I thought, ah, wow, I sold I think 120, then now 150 already, wow. P25 ah, not cheap already la. But I like this stock because Bill Edmund is also vested. Bill Edmund ah, so like we saw, you see, danger is opportunity. When it crashed from 150, it crashed to below 100, you see, to as low as, it was as low as what? $80 level. Yeah, so 80, 90, 100, oh, easy buy. That time I started shorting buy at $100 level. Boss, I told you all that like, I expect it to make at least uh five dollar per share at least lah. So below twenty times earnings, easy buy. Hundred dollar or lower, easy buy. I myself I bought a bit lah, but I, as usual I sold. So uh, Alphabet also a uh, V shape recovery. Why ah? Why Alphabet and Meta can V shape recovery? Why Baba cannot V shape ah? When our Baba V shape recovery coming? Okay, yeah. Ah, Nigoro, yeah. Now the Baba P is, is about 8 times. Wow, yes. Got Baba Bird. Free gift. Oh, yeah, so special thanks to Daniel Ng. Starlight oh, for the 10 Baba Bird. Congrats to Elena Lim, goddess of SGX. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon get lah. Wow, you are Charizard or Pikachu. Cloud. Aiden. Oh, Cassandra Music. Wow, please teach us some music. Pixel Princess. Wow, what lah. Pixel Princess. Wow. Our goddess of 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 S S S G also lah. Congrats, congrats. David Wong, our super top scorer. Yeah, I think David Wong get Baba Bird. I think eight time or what already. Our top scorer. What lah, what lah. Yeah, Jerome Sim. Ah, congrats. Alpha Wong. Wah, what lah. Simon Lim. Congrats, congrats. Wah, congrats to the ten Baba Bird and special thanks to uh Daniel. So all Baba Bird fire some rocket. Oh, Ali Baba, please rocket rocket from here. Okay. China national team come in and buy, then we can rocket from here. Okay, steady. Pray for the China national team coming to support us. Yeah. Okay. Wow. One hour plus pass ready. Okay. That's all. I'm master tired already. Okay. So that that's all my sharing for tonight. Master tired already. I see. Still got what what questions? Just invest today. Are you still bullish on Ping An? Yeah. I bought Ping An at thirty five. Then it crashed to thirty in the Hong Kong market. Ping An ten percent dividend yield uh, or super cheap uh. Ping An fundamentally speaking, no, nothing wrong with Ping An ma. But but they are forced to do national service, like I say la, it will be a hit to their balance sheet, but their balance sheet is so strong. They should be able to manage it. La. Yeah. If forty dollar master gone cash ready, la, I don't think Baba will go to forty la. Lowest is fifty la. C come, welcome, welcome. Wow. My nose itchy already. Don't know why. Allergy. Okay. So I see still got what question I answer then. Snake this year quite a lot. Lah. That time I tell share you all the fortune teller episode ma chicken is the most lucky already. Long Fong. That means the chicken, the dragon and phoenix is the best combination this year. So this year is dragon and, and chicken. Those born in the year of dragon and chicken is the most lucky. Master pick, I don't know my luck good or not. I, I don't know. Yeah. Ping An near thirty dollar level lah. Hopefully tomorrow bounce up to the yeah Treasure Island. Let's go, let's go, Master. What you think of Chewy yeah? I don't know what is Chewy eh? yeah. Yeah, Chewy the the cafe money the the Chewy the the Chobu ah. What is Chewy? Chewing gum ah. Oh Chewy oh it's a pet pet so, ah. 
it's not within my circle of competence. Ah. Oh, the founder is Ryan Cohen. Eh. This is the king of meme stock. Eh. King of meme, meme stock. Ah. Oh, and, and, and it's profitable. Yeah, so it, it's like traditional stock. Ah. Is it a tech stock? Also no. Ah. Or oh, Chewy, yeah. I, I don't know. Eh. I really don't know. I never see this stock before. Eh. This is very niche. Ah. But I like to buy companies that I use the product or services. I understand the business. Yeah, wow, it's down so much. Ah. Wow. 33 times earnings. Short interest is very high. I think it must be something going on. Ah. It's more like a meme stock like that. The, the way I look at it. So so volatile. Ah. Yeah, it's very volatile. You see? It's like a meme stock like that. For, from 100, they now crash until... Yeah, so I, I don't know much about this company. Yeah, but I think it, uh, it's a bit speculative. Uh. Ryan Cohen is usually related to 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 meme 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 stock. Yeah, so special thanks again, or uh, to Daniel Ng for the ten Baba Bird. Hola! So hope you, you all get the Baba Bird already. You all the mood is is better. Yeah. Uh, our, our David Wong is our top scorer, Golden Boot, the Golden Boot Award. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, three hundred over viewers are. Uh. Nowadays, a lot of people concerned about the China market, but I, I don't think everyone is vested in Alibaba. La. I think some is look see look see see want to bargain hunt or not. Oh Pokemon, uh, do you think buy the Cosby Hansen Tech daily leverage? I don't like la. This one, the the leverage they use the leverage is to derivative, so the the yearly fees is very high, so I don't quite like la. Just buy the Hansen Tech three zero six seven is better. Don't use leverage la. If you want leverage, you use margin. Ah. You buy the 3067, use, use your uh, broker, then you leverage 1.5 times or, or, or 2 times like that. Baba now is 17% free cash flow. Ah. Wow, we are going towards 20%. Ah. That's insane crazy. Ah. Yeah, I wish I, I can like, deposit my kidney, ah, take a hundred or two hundred thousand dollar loan. Whack Baba. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah. Yeah, so that's all my sharing. Oh, thanks again to Starlight. Take care, everyone. Have a good rest tonight. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Dragon and chicken. Okay. Bye bye.